Hmm. Hmm. It's going down. What's going on, guys? Thanks for tuning in. I'm about to be a mad scientist today. You're going to hear a bunch of car noise because we are in my driveway. So anyway, with that being said, after the $10 challenge uh, overnighter, I'm going to come home and cut up my <laughs> mine. Uh, I got an old piece of beaver lumber. Beaver lumber. Uh, that I found floating down the river. And it's really hard. It's I don't know what it is after a beaver chews on a stick and then it floats and dries hard and hard and dries all that good jazz. It becomes really freaking tough. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to fabricate this into a handle on this. And that's right. <laughs> I'm going to tinker with it. I'll take it out the woods, test it and all that good stuff. Probably not on this video, but next outing. Uh, I just thought it was a really cool idea, man. I'll be able to, this is this uh, one's a little thicker. This is about an eighth inch close, so that's why I'm gonna tear up this one and then no longer have a grill spatula. Well, I could use the other one. Duh, dude, use your brain. So yeah, I'm gonna be a mad scientist today because I want to. Leave me alone. Let's get creative, shall we? that thing to pop off there. Nope. A little bit stuck in there. The grinder won't fit though. Yeah, grind it on some rocks. Well, I guess we need some pliers. Next thing we're gonna gotta get creative. That's not right. The only thing that sucks is that's going to be a weak point for this now. But we'll just wing it. Not going to be going on forged in fire or anything with it, so. <laughs> it's all fun and games. Never going to learn if you don't try. That's not too bad, though. It's gonna focus on my face. Cause that's how Canon does. It always wants to keep you in their sights. Not bad. So, like I said, this is gonna be my handle. Figure out which way I wanna do this. Kinda has a bend to it. So I'm kinda thinking I wanna keep the bend. Yeah, that's what I'll do. I got a little bit of kind of cracked up here a little bit so I'm gonna take the uh, jigsaw cut that off and wing that bad boy up in there I think it's only proper to use the grill as your workstation since you're tearing apart its spatula it's called respect guys Learn it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Beautiful. Now the key is, because I'm not going to split down the middle uh, like you normally would. Like say you take a, something and split it. I'm going to uh, take the jigsaw because I think that's about the width of the blade. Yeah, pretty close. And try to stay center as best I can. Yep. yep. Oh, there goes the dog. He's going haywire. Getting crazy. Poochie poochie. I'm hoping. It didn't go too wide on that. A 
I'm actually going to want it the other way because I'm going to, yeah. Do the slice and dice inside on this because I'm going to take the grinder and sharpen that up, get rid of that serrated edge. <laughs> this is crazy. What a goofy idea. Hey, but why not? Just wing it and you're learning as you go. Building stuff, you're getting the mind going. Check it out, guys. Got a little slight arch to it. Oh, this is crazy. It's kind of cool. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to I have what are these? Inch and a quarter by bingos. Uh, machine screws. So I'm going to drill I don't know what's going to be too many. I'll probably do three. Yeah, let's go ahead and do three. See what we can come up with. All right, let's go for gold. Oh, you know what would have been really cool? If you would have checked if it was long enough. <laughs> oh, that's real great. <laughs> oh. Gotta get some longer screws now. Ain't no thing with a chicken wing. I save all sorts of crap from jobs. So I know I got something. Just a little dilly dallying. Alright, had to run to the local hardware store. Cost me four dollars and nuts and bolts and stuff. Now it's costing me money, so it better work. Ah! Let's see if we can make it all fancy. Width in there. Washer. Lock nut. Nut. That always plays out. Ah. Oh. We'll get all three of these in there and then uh, I'm not gonna cut the excess of that off. Hope oh, picking that up. Can't really see. Check it out. <laughs> I went uh, one opposite direction. I don't know if that's gonna make much of a difference for strength wise, but I definitely need to Get to the uh... Alright, I'm tightened up. By hand, man. Ow, that one didn't. Alright. I need to get a crescent wrench, tighten these down, and then I'm gonna cut these uh, the top tidbits off of them dang things. And then sharpen this thing up. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> this is ridiculous. So many, I know a bunch of people are either gonna be like, "That's really cool," or "My God, you're a dipshit." <laughs> oh, I don't give a shit. Ah, this is crazy.
<laughs> uh, we're cooking now, are we? <laughs> Let's sharpen this freaking thing. I need to get a vice though. You gotta be careful when you're grinding sharp edges like this. Start at a slight angle and work your way until you get that out of the way because it will grab that and it'll explode it. <laughs> Shrapnel everywhere. Use proper safety gear so you can go home and kiss your old lady with both your eyeballs. All right, sounds good. Or maybe some of you don't want your eyeballs. That's a perfect way to lose them. If you don't want to see your old lady when you kiss her. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Don't, don't mind me. I'm gonna sharpen the tips on the other side. See if we could still make that a, somewhat of a saw. Keep it multi-purpose. Now this one's going to be a tricky one to do too without it flinging shrapnel. Cover your eyes. See what happens. Alright, well, this is just some eastern pine. I only uh, sharpened this on the grinder. I didn't take a file or anything to it yet to try to fine tune it. Let's just see. I'm kind of wondering if that's going to snap or not, but give it some oomph. I'm kind of scared to to spend all that time building it, but if you're going to. That's taking a lot of persuading. Oh. It's getting there though. Here, let's see if we can... I guess the bad part about sharpening that other end, turning it into a saw style, is that uh, everything's going to want to stick to it now. Trial and error. Trial and error. Gonna go a lot. Did work. So that's a plus. Pretty neat. Staying. Staying strong. Now it's beating the crap out of it. I mean, it's not like a, a hatchet that splits it uh, each way as e either, so you got to take that into consideration. But it's not bad. It's not bad. Kind of bad. It's a spatula, for God's sake. working. It's not bad. It'd be perfect for uh, I mean it ain't quite sharpened yet but once you fine tune it I think this could be a cool little cool little tool. If any of you investors out there want to uh, get in on something like this you know give me a holler. You know you want in on it. Design something like that? Mm hmm. Possibly. This could be the future, guys. This could be the future. Well, let's see if the saw technique is on it. Kind of like a, a one way saw. It's only a one way saw.
Well, the saw sucks. That's that's terrible. <laughs> I didn't expect too much of it, but. Some fine tuning. I mean, we went from this into this. It's just letting your mind wander, your imagination take over. I haven't fine tuned this or anything. Or maybe a next one we could do kind of a little bit thicker up here. That would be cool. It'd be kind of like a long hatchet head, but not quite as thick and heavy. Um, good solid handle something probably get rid of the saw unless we could find a little bit easier way I don't know just winging it anyway guys thanks for tuning in on my little goofy shenanigans uh, yeah <laughs> just letting the imagination take over and go nuts create something make every day great exploring earth catch you guys on the next one you have a great day